In this video, we're going to be talking about displaying bivariate numerical data. A bivariate data set consists of measurements or observations on two variables, x and y. For example, x might be the distance from a highway and y the lead content of soil at that distance. When both x and y are numerical va uh, variables, each observation consists of a pair of numbers, such as 13,2.5 or 25.72,15.6. Now the first number in a pair is the x value, and the second number is the y value. An unorganized list of bivariate data provides little information about the distribution of either the x and the y values separately, and even less information about how the two variables are related to one another. Now, just as graphical displays can be used to summarize univariate data, they can also help with bivariate data. The most important graph based on bivariate numerical data is a scatter plot. So we use a scatter plot when we have bivariate numerical data. To construct it, we draw a horizontal scale and mark it with appropriate values of the independent variable. And we draw a vertical scale and mark it appropriate values of the dependent variable. Then we're going to plot each point corresponding to the observations. So it might look something like this. To describe it, you need to comment on the relationship between the variables. We'll discuss scatter plots a lot more in the future. Let's talk a little bit about times series plots. We use them when measurements collected over time at regular intervals. So when we have those measurements, it can be considered a bivariate data where the y variable is the variable measured and the x variable is the time. To construct it, we draw a horizontal scale and mark it with the appropriate values of time. Then we draw a vertical scale and mark it with appropriate values of the observed variable. Then we're going to plot each point corresponding to the observations and connect them. So it would look something like this. Now to describe it, we're going to comment on any trends or patterns that we see over time. Let's look at an example. So accompanying time series plot of movie box office totals in the millions of dollars over 18 weeks in the summer for 2001 and 2002 appeared in the USA Today from September 3rd of 2002. So we want to describe any trends or patterns that we see. Now, patterns that tend to repeat on a regular basis over time are called seasonal patterns. So describe any seasonal patterns that you see in the summer box office data as well. You might want to look for patterns that seem to be consistent from year to year. Now, according to the 2001 and the 2002 data, there are seasonal peaks at weeks 4, 9, and 14, and seasonal lows at weeks 2, 6, 10 through 12, and 18.